Hello my friends, it's finally Friday and I'm done with work, which means game time. Today, I'm gonna share with you my Chunky Ice Cannon Elder Frost Gamma build. But before we get into the build, I would like to take this opportunity to thank the viewers from my previous videos. Your words of encouragement really meant a lot to me. If you ever decide to visit Malaysia, let me bring you to get some teh tarik, nasi lemak, and also authentic egg fried rice. Alright, time to get back to the main topic. Let's go! To be really honest, making a build for Elder Frost Gamov is kinda difficult. I am not making another standard max DPS build again, that is just plain lazy. I know you guys came for quality build, am I right? So I can't let the viewers down, can I? Well, our chunky boy is kinda stuck between the best of the best Welkana and the glass cannon Orochi Kirin. Furthermore, its most noticeable stats are the insanely huge HP pool and the uh, insanely low speed. So I decided to make it a tank that focuses on head-to-head -head damage and is capable of dealing massive LE damage to the enemy. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm currently in the progress of making an insanely annoying Elder Frost game of build. It should be ready in one more day. So remember to like and subscribe to the channel and you will be the first to see this build when it is published. Now, let's summon the Bingo Board. For the standard damage buff, I believe everyone is very familiar already, so I will not drill in too deep. The active skills are Silver Cannon, Ice Drill, and Blizzard Breath. Silver Cannon and Ice Drill are chosen for the damage, for obvious reason. A lot of builds out there pick the Sonic Strike for the technical slot because he can crit. But look at that critical stat on our Chonky Boy. I don't think we should ask a fish to climb tree, also we should not ask a Chonky Boy to crit. So instead of relying on the occasional crit, I decided why not we just lower the enemy's defense right? Yeah boy. Sometimes I really do admire my own smartness. Next, we have the head to head master or the extra kinship. Since the skills applied on this build are quite costly. Finally, Vicious XL is here to complete the power and dragon bingo. Although this doesn't really do much to the DPS, it only adds a flat 60 damage to the output. But for a monster that doesn't crit often, it's better than nothing. Finally, we came to the final step of every build which is to give it an awesome name for that certain Genasequa. It's big and huge, so I shall name it Yo Ma -i. Done. Okay, that it is for the Chunky Boy build. Hope you have fun with this build. If you're looking for other monsters build, I will put it up on the screen right now. Once again, thank you for staying until the end of the video. I shall see you in the next video. This is Brian from Malaysia, over and out.